<laughs> Michael, sorry. Poor, poor Michael. Michael. There's his dignity for a major television presenter. Oh, look at him. Come in, plug himself Where's in. Plug? Where's his plug? Where's his plug? will work it. Look, have you got this, fellas? Look. Michael Parkinson, whose new show <laughs> starts. When does it start, incidentally? <laughs> I've always wanted to ask Parky uh, a question when he couldn't speak. It, yes. It starts on September the 3rd, 4th. <laughs> it starts on September the 4th. Yes. You were, you were a Chelsea supporter. So I still am. You still am. You're not really interested in football then? Oh, well, no. no, I don't start a minute. We didn't have a very good night last night, but there are things to come. You didn't? In 1985. Yeah. What's your assessment of this man best? Oh, as I said, the best I've ever seen. Really? I mean, an unfortunate choice of words saying best with Georgie, but I mean, he is the best individual player I've ever seen, ever watched. Apart from this man here, who was very good too. Yes, well, you have to say nice things about Greasy and Law. No, he was Chelsea, oh, <laughs> Greasy and Law, because they're still here. Um, it is interesting to, 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 to wonder ab about how, I mean, my... <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Good, 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 good shoot, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it's it's very it's sticks around up your back. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can remember as far back as when Michael Parson used to use a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I started oh, stick that microphone. Mike, you were saying earlier on, of course, yeah. that uh, just to recap for people who might be joining and wondering what Greavesy and Law and yourself and Bestie and Presley doing are doing yeah. here, <laughs> apart from being plugged into machines, yeah. and that is that uh, Bestie was not just a great footballer and a superstar, but really a product of the 60s. And maybe, in fairness to our age, it doesn't throw up people like this now. Well, but, but what he did do more than anything, I think why, why he's important historically in football is because he was the first pop superstar of football. Many have tried to... Um, Step in his shoes. Yeah. I mean, for instance, I mean, Kevin Keegan, as an example, handled being handled beautifully, brilliantly, manufactured in so George's best image, was known as the player that George was, but the same kind of glamour thing. George started an industry without knowing it. This entire thing, there were agents, you know, surround these people. They had their own manicure, shiropodists, soothsayers, go around them. The, the pop, the pop Hairdresser. Team. Precisely. <laughs> that, that was started by, by George Best. Before that time, there had not been a notion or an inkling of this at all. Yeah. Footballers were guys with, with short back and side who could actually meet on the bus. All you right. Could sit next to them. All right, fair enough. Well, what about now to all you football fanatics and football players? Good or bad for the game? Not just George Best. No, not, let's not say whether George, George <coughs> unquestionably <coughs> brilliant for the game. But it's a bit of a double edged sword, Greasy, wasn't it? All the, all the, the, the paraphernalia that um, Parky is talking about. Yeah. Um in what, in what way was it a double Well, for example, could <laughs> you see I was you know, looking at you? I knew. Uh, what is a Jimmy Greaves, I knew. I was looking at you. I was asking you a question. I'd said your name correctly, and your face was like a cash register. I, well, I wasn't listening. I was talking to Dennis about old times. Um, in what way was it a double edged no, sword? That maybe, maybe the <coughs> attendant publicity that came to the game yeah. was okay, it had a good point in that it brought soccer more to, to the public eye, yes. but it had a bad one. If, for example, there were occasions in which the soccer stars misbehaved, if there were occasions in which they were surrounded by groupies mm. and hangers on. Well, you see, the problem but is with, like, in, 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 any, in any business, and I think yeah. with professional football, was the fact that what people don't realise or tend to realise is that footballers are, are just ordinary people basically mm. they come from working class stock mm. and uh, sometimes it's very difficult for them when they uh, reach a certain status in success mm. and glamour etc to carry it off on a personal basis it's easy to do it on the field Henry yeah. because you become a different person Michael Parkinson you grunted a minute well, ago well no, no it's just that you see the point being that, that when, when he started 21 years ago there was the, 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 the idea that a footballer needed that kind of protection that he needed an agent that he needed a manager was never in anybody's mind yeah. right today it's there today it's happened it's not so much really how the how the footballer himself um, uh, reacts to it in my view one of the great problems of the game today are the, the attendant hangers on are in fact the wrong kind of people. Right. I mean, I think that the, in show business particularly, you've got a tradition of managers who are used to looking after people. Know this new breed of coming to football, in fact, in my view, more often not a very bad for the game. Uh, uh, very another, bad for the player. Perhaps another generation or two before they learn how to do it correctly, yes, uh, uh, as they say precisely, in Precisely, because yeah. it only started 21 years exactly. ago, that's why we're here it's today. All to uh, you, it's all to do with protecting people. Are you people? suggesting then that, I mean, theatrical management should come into soccer and it's, and it's already entertainment. Yeah. entertainment. No, but I mean in a, in a much bigger yeah. way what I'm than saying it has. Is, what I'm saying, yes, what I'm saying is that if, if the soccer man, if the people who handle mm. soccer stars mm. have the same tradition and training and thought and knowledge of their, of their job as the theatrical people have, then they'll be a lot better yeah, at their job.